I'm Connor. I'm Megan. And this is another episode of Canucks and Cars presented by Toyota. Today we're going to head to Kitts Beach and show you what we do every day with our dog Bubba. Okay, your first dog, mm -hmm. his name was Finley. No. <laughs> she Seamus. Seamus. I knew it was Irish. <laughs> yeah, because it's close. Your parents still have the portrait of him in the, in the room. Yes, that my sister painted. And now you have Callie. Yep. Okay, we got Sonny. Yep. We still have, who is a horse. Yeah, and you've always had big dogs, right? Yes, you, always. You've never had a little dog? I've never had a little dog. Did you ever think you would get a small dog? No. No. I talked you into it. Well, yes, but he's easy. He's easy to travel with. Yeah, so that's the best part. And that's most important. Um, but yeah, now we have Bubba. But in the summer, Sonny and Bubba. Yep. The best combo. Mm -hmm. um, the golden retriever and little Bubba. So do you think Bubba gets more excited to see me or you when we come home? I mean, I would have to say me. But I leave earlier. I leave at like four. Yeah. yeah. Turn right Games at seven, you leave when, 6.30? Yeah, so you're definitely gone longer. Yeah, I'm gone longer and he knows that. Yeah. And he spends... And he spends a lot of time with me. Yeah, well road trips he gets excited because I come home at two in the morning and that's an excuse for him yeah. to get up. Yeah, as soon as he hears the garage open, he goes nuts. Well, he just knows that he misbehaved for a little bit. So yeah. he gets all excited. Yeah. Oh, I know where we are now. Remember we went here for Christmas last year to get our tree. You went along because you surprised him with the tree. Ah. What a romantic. <laughs> so what do you think the hardest part about trying to train Bubba is? Is that I want to get mad at him? Yeah. Two Which is bad. Ago. I'm an enabler. Yeah. I enable. Yeah, I had him for two days while you were on the road. And when I brought him home, they said he sleeps in a crate. He does a great, great job. Um, and so those first two nights, like, he'd cry a little bit, but I let him sleep in the crate and then as soon as you came home, you heard him cry for like a minute and you were like, take That's him it. out. Get him out of there. <laughs> he knew, he knew when he saw him. Yeah, he could fool you. I'm gonna manipulate this guy. Huggy used to drive him to Granville. Oh yeah, you guys would take, take him to Granville. Yep. Walk him around. If we had a bunch of days off, we'd sneak in a trip to Lee's and mm -hmm. get him a home cut. <laughs> Love the home cut. All right, let's go get the nut. Our only goal for the walk is to not run into any bigger dogs. Uh, we're in a sniffing mood today. We're not, not in a walking mood. No, for him, the only issue is like he's got, he's been in like, he's two years old, he's been in like six houses. Nice. That was good. Nice territory. Gained it. Last year we were in the city. And it's loud. Cars at night wake him up. If he wants us to move, we move. <laughs> I also I have to run with him. He's gonna touch the grass and just start taking off. Yeah. That's what happens when he eats the sand. Let's get over the log. Come on. Nice. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Canucks and Cars. Now we're gonna go finish our walk. Come on, Bubba. 